Hello folks, this is Alex from the Time Lapse Guy. I finally found some time to take another Time Lapse video and I'd like to take you with me. I drove to a mountain landscape in the center of Germany and in this uh, and here there's a, a neat little uh, river floating through the mountains and I'd like to take a time lapse with my Sony Alpha 6000 with a 12mm Samyang lens um, at these um, small waterfalls you can see here and I'd like to use an ND filter and get some really smooth water uh, time lapses there and I'd like to take you with me, show you the settings, show you my setup and I hope you have fun and enjoy this video. First had to hike the mountain a bit and could enjoy the nature there in the forest along the river with its crystal clear water. I had to watch the whole time where I stepped because the stones were wet and slippery and I did not like to fall into the water with all of my camera gear. So this spot is a little bit more quiet, so let's have a quick look onto the gear I'm using today. I'll just show you. I am using my to-go pod tripod. Um, yeah, that's that's the brand to-go pod. Um, you could basically use every tripod you, you want to use. Um, then I'm using my Sony Alpha 6000. I attached a battery grip onto it, but uh, that's not necessary for today because we're not uh, going to take time lapses which are super long, but I um, I'm maybe taking some time lapses at different uh, positions and I don't have to worry about my battery life then. Attached is the Samyang 12mm uh, lens, uh, which is a manual lens. I already showed that to you a couple of times in the last videos and I really love this lens because it's really cheap for a very good value. Onto the, the lens I mounted a ND filter which is basically just a really dark piece of glass which reduces the light hitting the sensor and then you can take longer exposures during daytime. And this is a Aida Slim ND3 1000 filter with a 70, a 67 mm in diameter to fit onto the Samyang lens. And you just screw it on there. There's lots of different filters you can buy and there's really expensive filters and there's somehow really cheap filters which are also good, so I chose this uh, brand Haida and I think this filter was around 25 euros on Amazon roundabout. I found a nice place, um, yeah, check it out. I'm going to take a time lapse with the ND filter of this little waterfall there and I'm going to mount the camera like here on this little rock and then I'll show you if I set up everything uh, the, the same. So here you can see my composition of the shot. Um, we got these nice mushrooms on the right side of the shot and we got this big rock in the center and the waterfall on this side and this side and the water floating around the rock which is really nice. So here you can see one of the test shots I took um, yeah, and you can see the, this, this um, framing looks really nice to me and now I'm going to head into the time lapse application. Um, there I chose custom because I, uh, I'm going to use um, customized settings and then I'm going into the application settings. Um, I need to expose for four seconds so I don't need that much of an interval. One second should be enough and then with one second of interval, interval there's still five seconds between two shots. Uh, yeah, the number of shots should take something like yeah, 
300, for example, I think that's a little bit too much. Uh, I'd like to check another spot maybe. So I'm going to take like 200, use 210, you can see it down here. So the automatic exposure is set to medium because uh, maybe there's, it's getting a little bit darker then the camera can automatically uh, readjust this. This number is wrong because this application is not um, checking my exposure time. So it thinks this would only take like three minutes, but we should be here for about 200 times five seconds. So you can do the math um, and that will be way longer. The other settings, I'm taking raw pictures and yeah, you can, you can take a test shot. And this looks super nice. So now I'm going to start the whole sequence. And yeah, I, I think they'll just sit on, on a rock somewhere and yeah, and have to wait now. That's the thing with time. So I packed up all my gear and I'm walking back to the car now and while I'm walking you can check the edited time-lapse sequence right now. So that's it for today's video, I hope you liked it. Comments and questions down below the description. Check out my other videos, subscribe to this channel for more cool videos and I hope I see you in the next one.